Thank you all for tuning into my podcast. I am beyond pleased to see that my audience is refined enough to appreciate both my skills as a political analyst and my elegant, classically feminine Lolita coordinates. Today, I will be live to answer questions submitted by viewers. Okay, first question. Ben, are you more a fan of bonnets or bows? This is a tough question, as both are staples of the classic Lolita substyle. However, I believe that bonnets are ultimately superior on both aesthetic and functional grounds. First, aesthetically. While bows are visually appealing, bonnets are capable of being both cuter and more elegant. For instance, Angelic Pretty's Nakayoshi Bunny Bonnet projects extravagant cuteness, much more than what could be achieved by a head bow. Likewise, Victorian Maiden's Amy Rose Half Bonnet presents an air of elegance that is simultaneously more luxurious and subdued than that of a similarly patterned head bow. Second, functionally, bonnets shield the wearer's face from harmful ultraviolet rays. No head bow has the capability to protect from sun damage. As a frequent bonnet wearer, my skin has remained supple due to that protection. To further add to bonnets' functionality, most bonnets have ribbons that are tied underneath the chin in order to secure positioning on the head. Head bows, by contrast, have headbands that dig into the sides of the wearer's head. Bonnets are significantly more comfortable and offer a much more enjoyable wearing experience. The ribbons also function as decoration around the neck, which adds further visual interest to a coordinate. The next question is, how can I be a more debonair misogynist? Thank you for asking this. I first want to say how appreciative I am that someone has appropriately dubbed my style debonair. Uh, what, what does debonair mean? Is that like the Pokemon? When I used to wear fedoras during my MLP phase, I was unfairly ridiculed and discriminated against. Of course, I persisted and cultivated my current wardrobe, but I still remember. A debonair misogynist needs to possess three things. Facts, determination, and a working knowledge of color theory. Facts are for the misogyny, color theory is for the debonairness, and determination allows you to realize the potential of both of those two assets, thus maximizing their efficacy. As an example, let's say that I want to convince someone that Angelic Pretty's print Sunny Smile Laundry is geared towards women as a demographic. Facts allow me to point out that women are interested in things like laundry and soaps, which are abundantly shown on the print. Color theory will help me pull up in the most unequivocally luscious coordinate, which will make people understand that I am an authority on the subject of Lolita fashion. So if I am determined enough to both flex unrelentingly on everyone in the room and repeat my point that laundry is an inherently female interest enough times, then I will have successfully defended my stance that women are the target audience for sunny smile laundry and will have therefore proved myself to be a high caliber debonair misogynist. The next one we have is, how do you feel about under the knee socks? Okay, anyone with a basic understanding of proportions can tell you that UTKs are an aesthetic disaster. They're too long for the cute and casual atmosphere of crew length socks, but too short for the elegant or extravagant effect of OTKs. It cuts the leg off right below the knee. It's completely unflattering. This leaves a gap between the large poof of the skirt and the volume from any lace or frills that may be on the socks, which is incredibly visually displeasing. In fact, the fashion would be better off if UTKs were criminalized. It looks like someone wanted to wear OTKs, but was too tall for them to hit at the correct level. I mean, at that point, you're better off just wearing tights than doing a cheap impression of over the knees. Really great questions, guys. I enjoy giving back to the Lolita community. So if you have anything else you need an expert opinion on, don't hesitate to ask.